The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is recommending that people who experience new symptoms after receiving Johnson & Johnson's COVID-19 vaccine seek medical treatment immediately. Some symptoms they say include headache, backache, neurological symptoms, and shortness of breath. The CDC, along with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, recommended a pause last week in the use of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine due to reports of blood clots. Officials say the pause gives scientists time to review data and determine whether the vaccine is actually linked to the blood clots. About a quarter of South Carolinians are now fully vaccinated and some health care providers in the upstate say they are seeing demand for the shots plateau. Our Kylie Jones talked to some of them about why this might be. She joins us now live. Kylie, it's not the same rush that officials reported just a few weeks ago, is it? Yeah, no, Gabby and Bonsecor says this slowdown was expected. Doctors just didn't know how long it was going to last, and the hospital actually just launched an online sign up program to make it easier for people to sign up and hopefully get shots in more people's arms. The rush for the COVID-19 vaccine has started to slow its roll. Still just a little more than a quarter of South Carolinians are fully vaccinated. That's not where we want to be yet, so we're, we're trying to encourage and make people feel a little more comfortable with the vaccine. Bon Secours' Brandy Giles says appointments used to be fully booked. Now, she says as many as half of their appointments can be wide open. I think we've made that tipping point of finding the vaccines for those who really want it to we're finding those who, you know, trying to find people to fill the vaccines that we have. Giles says they expected the tables to turn at some point. Now they're actually left with extra shots at the end of some days. So we really try to fill those last one or two at the end of the day. And we're really careful about kind of towards the end of the day about how much we start to reconstitute and and we start to prepare for vaccination so that it, we're not looking for six, seven or eight. She says they rarely have to throw out any doses, though. The pause of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine could be holding some people back. That is definitely something that's kind of on our differential list of why we're not seeing the volume. Bon Secours is giving the Pfizer vaccine. Giles says these concerns haven't impacted their appointments too much. She also reminds people the dangerous risks of the J&J &J shot are extremely rare. The hospital now focused on vaccine education and outreach. Just making people comfortable and and taking it to them if that's what we need to do. And we reached out to a couple pharmacies in the Greenville area. They say they actually haven't had too much of a decline in interest in the vaccine. Some of those are giving the J&J &J shot, though, which is still on pause. We also reached out to Prisma Health about what it's seen with the vaccinations. We have we're still waiting to hear back on that for now. Reporting live in Greenville, Kylie Jones, WYFF News 4.